Hi guys, it's Haley here, and today we're in the studio. I feel very professional. Today we're gonna be recreating some outfits that you probably have the pieces for in your closet already. You just never thought to put them together yourself. Outfits that are popping on Pinterest right now. These are gonna be like the trends of the season. All the outfits are inspired by the shoes that I'm gonna be incorporating into them. And this video is actually sponsored by Just Fab. So Just Fab is basically a monthly membership, and you get up to 30% off of shoes made by Just Fab. So so this is how a Just Fab VIP membership works. Being a VIP member isn't like you're committed for a year and they have your credit card info and they're gonna charge you every month. Like that's not how it works. When you become a VIP member, the only commitment that you have is you visit the website between the first and the fifth of the month and you can either choose to shop the styles that they have available or you can choose to skip the month and then you won't be charged for your membership for that month. But even if you skip, you can still come back and choose to shop the shoes that they have. If you don't skip on the sixth of the month, then you're charged $39.95. But that's not just like a membership fee that goes in the air. You can actually use the $39.95 as credit to shop the shoes that they have available on their website. If you become a VIP member, they're actually offering you your first pair of shoes for $10. And I'm like thinking about the shoes I'm about to show you and like getting any of them for $10 is actually crazy. I'm gonna leave a link down below to go become a VIP member and you can get a pair of amazing shoes, like literal thigh high, leather boots. I'm about to show you them for $10. You're gonna look like a boss ass bitch when you wear them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my recreations. So when you break down this outfit, every piece on its own is actually pretty simple and basic. But when you bring it all together, I think it came out looking pretty sophisticated. The vibe is very like downtown chic, like working in New York City in a high rise, like CEO boss vibes. But at the same time, it was extremely comfortable. So the saying beauty's pain in this case was proven wrong. These chunky boots have been so in lately. They're literally all over my feet on every social media platform possible. It's a very bold shoe. It's very out there. So I really wanted the rest of the outfit to also reflect that. I love how the chunky boots look with the sheer socks. When I saw this trend on Pinterest, I knew I wanted to recreate it for one of my outfits. And these boots are from the Kelly Rowland for Just Fab collection. Another trend that I've been seeing pretty often is a dress shirt with a sweater vest over it. I guarantee you have a button up collared shirt somewhere in your house. Either Either your dad has it or you can steal it from your boyfriend. <laughs> That's what I did. I always thought sweaters are just really boring on their own, but layering it over something just made it effortlessly more stylish. My sweater vest had a turtleneck. I've seen a lot of people do the V-cut as well. To balance out the chunkiness of the boots, I wanted to choose an oversized bag. And there's something about wearing an oversized bag that I feel like adds a little bit of maturity to an outfit. Like it makes it look like you have your shit together and you have all your essentials, when in reality, I probably had a single lip gloss and maybe my phone in there if I didn't forget it. Oh, and a mask, obviously, duh. These are my favorite sunglasses ever. I literally wear them with every outfit. They look so expensive and bougie when in reality, they were like $10. The glasses are a bit edgy, so I want to balance that out with something a little bit more flirty. So I clipped my hair back with these pearl hair clips. I pretty much finished every outfit off with some gold dainty jewelry and I'm actually wearing, don't tell anyone, a fake pearl ear cuff. And I thought that looked really cute matching the pearl hair clips. And when I'm wearing shoes that give me a little bit of height, it actually boosts my confidence and lets me do something a little bit more out of my comfort zone for the rest of the outfit. In this case, the sheer socks and the layering of the shirt dress. This is what this outfit says to me. It says, rich and successful soccer mom who picks up her kids from school in her Porsche and then all the other moms whisper and gossip about her because her outfits are always cuter than theirs. And this outfit was inspired by these pointed black heels, which is a wardrobe essential of a strong, classy woman. I say, as you see, literally my T-Rex tattoo. Anyways, I think a pointed heel is a timeless shoe that never goes out of style. I would definitely say this is somewhat casual chic. And since it is fall, I think layering comes in very handy, which is what I did for my top right here. These are actually two different tops. I'm wearing this button up white long sleeve. You could wear a collared shirt if you want to, but since I was going for a little bit more sporty, mine's the soft fabric. And then I put this black tank top over it, which is how I get away with wearing tank tops all year round. 
I'm obsessed with this super long wool jacket because I wear this over my pajamas at home, but then when I'm leaving my house, I can make it look cute and presentable outside as well. Is it just me or like anyone that wears a knit long jacket is like a nice person? Like don't you get like nice sweet girl vibes from this jacket or is it just me? And I also love the fit and wash of these jeans. They're like a medium blue, which is like perfect when you're pairing it with warmer tones. And I wouldn't really say these are mom jeans. They're slightly more oversized. They have like this balloon fit. I feel like an art teacher would wear these jeans, like someone with paint on their hands all the time. I don't know why I'm like trying to associate every piece with a type of person. That's just, I don't know, my brain works like that, I guess. I wanted to stick to that warm neutral color palette, so I went with these brown tortoiseshell sunglasses. And since everything is a single color and there isn't any design, I want to fancy it up with some accessories around my wrists. So I did a gold bracelet over the jacket, which I thought gave the jacket a little bit shape, and then I did a brown silk scrunchie on my other wrist. I don't know if you guys remember from the beginning of the video, but I mentioned you could get any pair of shoes for $10 and getting these shoes for $10 is actually such a steal. Since the outfit does have that cozier vibe, I want to wear a vintage like worn in bag because I feel like vintage makes your outfit look a little bit more softer. And this might actually be my favorite outfit in the whole video. Right off the bat, this outfit screams, I'm cool, I'm fearless, and I'm strong. I swear to God, thigh-high boots, especially if they're leather, are the modern-day rendition of a superhero cloak. Give a girl a pair of thigh-high boots, and she is invincible. And what I really like about this specific pair is it's shiny leather in the front, but in the back, it's this stretchy, like, soft fabric, so it makes it look a little less costumey and more suitable for, like, everyday wear. Whenever I wear thigh highs, it's like, I'm trying to make a statement. So I wanted the rest of the outfit to also be like a head turner. So I wanted to wear a blazer, but I turned it into a dress because I think blazers give off that like strong boss energy. It really bothers me when fashion influencers and stylists like call wearing a blazer a masculine look because I think it reinforces the stereotype that blazers and work attire is associated with men. But I'm getting this check and I don't see no man in this studio, so. I love the shoulder pads. I think it gives it this boxy structured look on the top, but I wanted to balance that out. So I tied this leather belt around my waist to make it also kind of look like a dress rather than I'm just wearing a jacket and I forgot to put pants on. I think from this video, you can tell that I definitely like balancing things out when I do my outfits. I think it gives it a more like cohesive look and it just flows better. Y'all know I had to wear my matrix sunglasses with at least one of the outfits in this video. I wanted to give the outfit a little bit of a pop of color, so I went with these statement earrings. They have this green jewel right in the center, and they're from the jewelry line of the queen of fashion videos here on YouTube, Best Dressed. I think it's so cool that we can use fashion as a tool for boosting our confidence. A lot of the time outfits that I wear, I'm like so uncomfortable in, not like physically, but just like mentally, I don't feel comfortable, but I just fake it till I make it and it works out. I feel like the other outfits I showed you were a little bit more in the like mature chic end of the spectrum, but this one's a little bit more playful and youthful. The schoolgirl fit was definitely inspired by these shoes. They're these all white sneakers and I feel like they give off a very like preppy vibe. A pair of all white sneakers is a must in your wardrobe. They literally go with anything. Whenever I'm stuck on what shoes to wear with an outfit, I'm like, okay, all white literally matches anything. Since this was an outfit inspired by going to school, I wanted to do something a little nostalgic and I put on these lace socks. I literally remember wearing these in third grade and here I am at 20 still wearing them. This outfit brings me back so many years, I would hate wearing my uniform to school, and now I'm recreating it, except I made it a lot cuter. But my mom would never let my skirt be this short for going to school. 
I've been seeing a lot of people pair vintage sweatshirts over collared shirts and I actually like folded the sleeves in. I think that makes it, it gives a little touch. It's all in the details. And of course this outfit couldn't have been completed with the schoolgirl skirt, which would have definitely got me dress coded, but there is no principle in my life anymore. My mom was literally behind the camera telling me I look like a cheerleader and here's my attempt at cheerleading, which is why I never made the team. I put my hair up in a ponytail using the silk pink scrunchie with a ribbon down and I remember we weren't allowed to have our hair down growing up. Like what's that all about? Like why did it have to be in a ponytail? I would literally have the worst headaches. It's crazy that I literally despise wearing my uniform and now I'm doing it on my own free will just because it's not a rule. I'm obsessed with this look and the shoes are once again from the Kelly Rowland for Just Fab collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope these outfits could serve as some inspo for your personal closet. And once again, thank you to Just Fab for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out Just Fab and the VIP membership using the link in my description box. You'll get your first pair of shoes for literally 10 bucks. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys so much all the way to Pluto and back. Bye.